Welcome back to Ray Tech. Hello, my name is Ray Jana Bricker. Today we will be doing data streaming and we can get real time data, then visualize it by graph and update it every second. First, we're gonna create a new page. Import time, import util to get CPU performance data. So, in this case, we're gonna use CPU performance data in my local configure the plot in order to enable it to run real time data percentage matplotlib notebook so we're gonna import the plt matplotlib.py plot splt dot rc animation dot html equal to gs html then we will build the chart first we used to prepare the data set for but for this particular case we built the place then stream the data to the place fig go to plt dot figure and i will use ax go to we're gonna add subplot that say i wanna one plot one row one column at a time and fig that show we have the place where we want to stream our data or we want to get real-time data and then we're gonna do infinite loop i equal to zero and x comma y then the list comma the list and infinite loop while true then x dot append the i and y append the still dot cpu percent so you're gonna use cpu percent right here and ax dot plot x comma y comma color equal to blue and fake canvas draw time dot sleep so time dot sleep it will set how many it will be updated in every second you can use one second or two seconds so it's depend on your need and we will create the x-axis by e plus equal to one now we can use that the data is running this is the real time data how many percent cpu that i use if it's too long for you you can change it by 0.5 So that's it. Maybe you got the idea how to make a data streaming and get real time data that the chart is updated every second 
and you can use it and get a data like from the production databases that the data will update it every second will stream to the application so on and so forth so it depends it you will be knowing what you're going to do with this method so it's quite easy to create data streaming using python and in this case we use cpu performance as a data we can make analogy cpu performance like a databases and we get the data from the cpu performance that always updated every second